Hi guys and welcome to Diving the Ananda. Today I'm going to be going through the rest of the features that I haven't already covered in the previous videos covering the Sunto Cobra 3. Now to start with I'm going to look at the gauge mode. Now to select gauge press the mode button and scroll using the up or down buttons onto gauge and let the computer start up. Now gauge mode has all the functionalities that the Cobra normally has except it disables the decompression obligations and the algorithms. This mode basically allows it to become a glorified bottom timer. Now scrolling through the down buttons menu we've got the maximum depth, the current time and then back to the bar pressure. On the up arrow we've got the degrees and the dive time. Now to enter the gauge dive settings press and hold the down button. Now we have depth alarm, dive time alarm, sample rate, units and tank pressure alarm. As you can see, there is nothing there that allows you to put a personal or an altitude setting in as the computer is actually turned off. So let's move on to dive history. Now to do this, press the mode button and then press it again to get on to the history settings. Press the select until the history is displayed. Now as you can see on my computer, 129 hours is the current time underwater, 53.5 meters is the maximum depth that computer has been to, and 287 dives it has done. Press the mode button again and then press the up arrow to get into the logbook. Now once in the logbook you can see the maximum depth of the dive is displayed at the top followed by the date, the time and the current mix. You can scroll through using the up or down arrows to the dive you want to look at. Once you find that one you can press the select button to look at that dive in more detail. As you can see it displays the surface time which in this case is 95 hours and 41 minutes from the last dive, how much air you used and the OLF percentage. Press select again and it allows you to view the bar graph of the dive. Press the up button and you can scroll through each sample that the computer took throughout the dive. As you can see it gives you the temperature of the water and the air in the time of the dive. The time of the dive is now 5 minutes and at 15.6 meters. This particular dive was a scallop dive. And yes, we did catch quite a few, and it was a great, great feast we had that night. With beer, I might add. We did have a beer with the scallops. You, you've just got to. <laughs> press the select button to return. Now, if you press the mode button again, you can scroll back around up to time. Now, just for warning, to get into the planning setting on the computer, you first need to go to your dive, and you need to set it to either air or nitrox. If it's set to nitrox, your plan will be on the nitrox mix that you have set in the computer. If it's on air, then it's going to work it out on air. Once you've set that, press the mode again to go across onto the planning. As you can see, the desaturation time is zero, meaning we have no current nitrogen loading in our body. If we had just done a dive and we were planning, the desaturation may say one hour, two hours, however long, and that would then take into account when planning, it would reduce your bottom time accordingly. Now using the down arrow, we can select a depth, which then gives us the correct bottom time that we can spend at that particular depth. So for example, 30 meters gives you a bottom time of 18 minutes. Press the mode button to return and then press the up or down arrow to move on to the simulator. Now the simulator will simulate a dive. So we can use the up and down arrows to push the depth down and the time is calculated at three times the rate that it normally takes by. This allows you to simulate a multi-level dive and even changing gas mixes on the ascent up. So this is what the computer screen looks like when it is underwater. As you can see it's displaying a deep stop at 17 meters and we currently have 17 minutes bottom time at 30 meters. Our maximum depth is displayed at the bottom and our dive time is also displayed on the bottom right. Now if we start ascending to our deep stop level you will see the deep stop from 17 meters will suddenly turn into a countdown timer. This then causes two arrows to appear on the computer and as you can see the deep stop timer is counting down. This means that you should hold the depth until the timer has elapsed. This only works as well if you have deep stops enabled in the computer settings. Afterwards you are free to ascend to your next deep stop or in this case you are free to ascend to your stop depth which is between 3 and 6 meters. As you can see when you hit the stop, the stop arrow appears or stop sign rather and a big number three counts down. If you drop below the stop depth the three will disappear and also if you go above the stop depth the three will also disappear. 
it will reappear again when you come within the parameters of the stop. Once the timer has elapsed, you can then make a control descent towards the surface. Once you get to the surface, the computer will then display a summary of the dive, including the maximum depth, the dive time, and the no-fly time. This display disappears relatively quickly, but it can be found again if you go into the logbook. Well, I hope this has been an educational video for you guys. If you want to know more about the operation of the Sunto Cobra 3, check out the other videos I have up. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.